now we have this rdbms right so rdbms is what we are practically using and on rdbms we have a language called as sql so before going towards rdbms and talking about sql the basics is if you think that this is the practical implementation of the database there is a conceptual level at conceptual level we look at every table as a set in fact as a cross product of two sets see that is what the notion is we are going to look at every table as if it is a subset of the cross product of all its attributes for example you know if you look at uh, name you can talk about name as set of all names possible in the universe right and let us say if you talk about a's you can talk about you can think about all the numbers which are possible for a's and let us say there is something called as marks you can think about set of all marks possible now if i create a table which is containing these three attributes one is name and the other is a's and the other is marks you can think of it as if it is a cross product between these three sets once you get the cross product i am not going to include every possibility i am taking a subset of it therefore one other way of looking at a table is as if it is a subset of the cross product which is called as a relation that is called as if you are going to look at every table this way as if it is a set cross product is also a set right then it is called as relational model right relational model is the basics for rdbms and before going going towards sql in order to build it we are going to use two basic languages or two basic operations set of operations which will be useful on relational model the way we use relational algebra and the relational calculus on this relational model will help us understand how to design and use sql on rdbms so these two are theoretical concepts which we look at a table as if it is a set and then these are the set operations which are possible on it and this is the practical model or if you want to look at it other way it is like an algorithm and is like implementation algorithm and implementation conceptual and reality right theory and practical now before looking at sql if you can understand this relational algebra and relational calculus we are going to understand sql better and also coming to gate compared to relational calculus so these are two languages th two theoretical languages which are possible on it there is difference between relational algebra and relational calculus but coming to gate relational algebra is more important coming to you know more than this uh, relational calculus anyway we are going to see these two but then first let's look at relational algebra and later we shall see relational calculus both are being used on relational model so relational algebra and relational calculus are two different things but sql is derived as a combination of these two now coming to relational algebra here we do we specify two things we specify both what we want and how we want it but coming to relational calculus we just specify what we want without specifying how we want it right okay later when we discuss about relational calculus i'll clearly tell you the differences here we shall focus only on relational algebra okay first thing is what are all the operations or basic operations which are present in this relational algebra now one thing is called as projection so what is projection is now if you have a table let us say this is a table or here you should call it as a relation right if you want to select only few columns from this table then we are going to use projection now if you try to project some few attributes you are going to get only few columns from the table and the next one is selection so what is selection is if you want to select only few tuples so here i call it as a tuple every row as a tuple right so if you want to select only few tuples then we are going to use selection and you have to be very careful here when we use selection and select in sql both are actually different in sql we are going to have something called as select and here we are going to have selection both are actually having the same name kind of it but then what they do is a different okay later when we go to sql i'll show you the difference but here selection is an operation which is used to select some of the tuples from the table all right and the next one is cross product and cross product is sometimes what we need is if you have a table with a tuple here and one more table with a tuple here now 
whenever I want to compare some attribute of this tuple with some attribute in this tuple then I might have to use these two tuples from two different tables right so in that case what I do is I try to combine these two tables so that these two tuples will also be merged and then I'll try to apply the comparison in a meaningful way okay so we shall see how to do it with examples and the next one is union so in union we want to combine two tables of similar types see here cross product you can apply on any type of table but when combine, coming to union we want to apply union on two tables of same type which means they should have the same number of attributes and those attributes should be same but when i apply cross product it need not be the case with examples it will be clear okay and the next one is minus or set difference so set difference is the same set difference that you have seen in sets now what is set difference is if you have a table let us say a and if you have a table let us say b if i say a minus b so it means that you are, you are interested in the tuples which are present in a but not in b got it so that is the meaning of minus and the next one is rename sometimes we want to save the result of an operation so that we can use it later for that reason we want to rename it and then store it or sometimes we want to rename the tables itself then we are going to use the rename operation okay and the next one is relational algebra expressions see these are all called as basic operations basic operations and you cannot apply some other operations to derive these operations these are definitely required now using these basic operations i can build some other operations which are also very popularly used so they are so popularly used that we have given them some names as well right and symbols for example if you look at intersection intersection is not a basic operation by using the existing basic operations you can also derive intersection right now for these such operations which are popular but which can be derived using the basic operations for them we are just giving them names and when we implement them we are going to implement them as if it is a implementation of this or uses of these operations for example if you see this intersection intersection can be expressed as if it is uh, you know two set differences so what is the meaning of it see this now a minus a minus a if i want to find out a intersection b then i could have written it as a minus a minus b see this now first find out a minus b so what is a minus b if it is a and it is b first find out what is a minus b so a minus b is this part isn't it now if i write a minus a minus b what is the meaning of it from a you delete this part from a if you delete this part which is uh, you know stripes then whatever you are going to get is actually a intersection b therefore we are able to implement a intersection b without using intersection with using only the basic operation minus that is why this is not actually required but then it is so popularly used that we have given it a name and we are going to you implement it as if it is a sequence of basic operations right so it is a sequence of operations and in the same way we are going to have something called as join when you see cross product when i apply cross product every tuple will be combined with every other tuple right see if i apply cross product then what happens is if i have two tables let us say now every tuple will be combined with every other tuple without any meaning if you say this is an employee table and it is a dependent table now if dependent is saying who are all the dependents on the employees of the company then it will be meaningful if i combine every employee only with his dependents right not with all the other dependents sometimes the queries may be how many dependents that does each employee have in that case it is meaningless to combine every employee with every dependent we want to combine an employee with a dependent given that this dependent is actually a dependent on that particular employee right in order to combine such or doing such meaningful operations we need actually you know joins so join is an extension to cross product where we do it meaningfully right which means after applying cross product if you select only the meaningful tuples then that is going to lead us to join 
therefore join can also be implemented as if it is first thing is you apply cross product and then select few tuples got it okay we shall see examples on it then it will be clear and the next one is division even division is also implemented by taking difference cross product and projection so with examples i'll tell you how to use these operations or way to use these operations and way to use these operations and also we'll see uh, what do we get as the result when we apply these operations on two tables with examples it will be clear okay coming to get relational algebra is more important than relational calculus okay fine Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of 1 lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old iits so all the iits put together have a acceptance rate of 0.5% and iits universities better than iits they have very good acceptance rate like 30% 40% but all the iits put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5% and if you are working hard to get into iit bombay iit bombay's ranking is 177 and iit roorkee's ranking is 400 if you are happy to get into iit roorkee then getting into universities better than iit roorkee is easier compared to getting into iit roorkee and looking at the salaries for computer science of uh, for software jobs If you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than. the salaries in india and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then lor guidance and gre and english test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which which means without any security now you can get education loan getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee the amount of uh, fee that you have you have a range of uh, universities you can apply for 10 lakh universities 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities but whatever it is you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it after you get a job and then we do visa assistance mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have ninety percent success rate, ninety nine percent success rate, and these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations, and if you are interested. in going abroad you have to just drop us a message on this whatsapp number 9494554454 okay thank you